I'm two months post up. Yay! So today is July 14th, and I'm two months post up, and I'm super happy, and super bouncy, and super active to get me out of the house. Oh my god, I want to do something. Um, <laughs> I am super duper happy, and I honestly don't have a lot of updates because <laughs> after the first, like, month and a half, it's just kinda living. Um, I have some, of course, because it's me, and of course I haven't uh, gotten to my medical journal yet, so it's still screenshots and stuff. <laughs> I really need to get that done. Okay, because um, there's two months of information that needs to be... Yeah, okay. Anyway. I'm just gonna jump right in, and hopefully this won't be super long, because, like I said, I don't have a lot. So, uh, June 16th, um, I was officially able to sleep on both of my sides comfortably, although my right side was better than my left, um, and three stitches came out of my left nipple graft. Woohoo! Um, since these are dissolvable stitches, I don't know if I've said before, um, they dissolve, and then they just fall off. It sounds kind of freaky, but it's not, but I promise. Um, <laughs> the 19th um, was another road trip to Fort Collins to see Dr. Speed, my endocrinologist, and it wasn't horrible. Um, the roads really didn't bother me too much. Um, that was a sentence that made sense. And I was even able to crochet a couple rows, which is something that I was not able to do before. Um, for some reason, double crochet was a lot harder to do. Um, like, the granny square stitch was no problem. Sewing was a little hard, like, sewing the squares together was hard, but double crochet, the stitch that I used to do my scarves, uh, that, that was difficult, <laughs> so I wasn't doing that for a while. Um, but the 19th, I started doing that again, um, which was cool. Uh, the, the, the 22nd, I started writing up front with the seatbelt thing over my chest again. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think I said I was five and a half weeks post-op, something like that. Um, I had been riding in the back with my, uh, the cross seat belt behind me because it hurt. <laughs> um, it hurt when something would touch my chest and hold on my chest, um, especially when we would go over bumps. That would really hurt, um, which in the beginning, um, it still hurt when we would go over bumps and it would be on but I just learned to mm, hold it away from my chest when um, we'd go over bumps. You know, okay. <laughs> um, now, no big deal. I just leave it and there's no big deal. It's awesome. There's no big deal, there's no problem. Whatever, you know me, you know, I don't words. On the 24th of June, I reopened commissions for scarves, um, going back to crocheting, because I was able to um, on a personal project, I was able to crochet well enough that um, I was comfortable giving that to a customer. You know, I didn't want <laughs> I didn't want to reopen commissions and jump right into a project for a customer to get something. You know, I just going so long without crocheting and then here have something. I just it wouldn't have been good. Um, and the scarf that. I ended up making did turn out pretty good, but I, I just, yeah, I didn't want to give the customer my very first attempt at crocheting after surgery. <laughs> um, it just uses a lot of upper body muscles, so that's why it took so long to, you know. Um, the 30th, I expressed that I really, really, really wanted to lay on my front, um, which has increased <laughs> since. Um, there are nights where I can't get to sleep because um, pre-op, when I was training myself to sleep on my back, um, even if I would, okay fine, I'll just lay on my side for just this one night, I was still training myself to lay on my back. Um, but if I had nights where I just could not fall asleep, I just can't do it, I would just flip over, lay on my front, and out. That was a horrible snap. Out. There we go. <laughs> um, I can't do that, obviously. Um, 
I think that was around the time that I looked up on the group that I'm a part of um, how long it took everybody to be able to lay on their front um, post-op. And people are saying months, like, around the time that you're able to lift uh, your arms completely above your head. So, it's it's gonna be a while. <laughs> like, four more months. <laughs> I'm not excited about that. But, you know, it's, it's okay. I'll be okay. Uh, July 2nd, I hit seven weeks post-op, and that was when I started doing biocornium just once a day. Um, because it's hard to take the time to let it dry before I start heading out, and I don't want the oil to destroy my clothes, because, um, yeah, oil's hard to get out of clothing, um, and I don't really like lines. Does this have any? No, it doesn't. Mean... No, it doesn't. Um, but I think I have one shirt that has a stain. I can't remember. As soon as I notice it, I give it to mom and I say, hey, please fix this, because I don't know how to fix it. Um, <laughs> and she does, and she's awesome. So, you know. Um, but I just don't want to risk it. So I've been doing it either in the morning when I know I'm not going to go anywhere for a while, where I can take like an hour to be shirtless, or two hours, or I do it at night, um, right at 10, so that I can be shirtless for an hour while I'm winding down, and then when I'm at the point of passing out, I can put on a tank top real fast and then fall asleep and, you know, you know, <laughs> uh, where was I? Yes. Um, there was, at that point, there was one stitch on, oh yeah, there was one stitch left on my right nipple graft, which was driving me insane. Um, <laughs> fun story there, I'll talk about that in a sec. Um, but once that is off and the scabs are all gone, I can start showering like normal again. Garamoni says that, um, okay, so he says not to face the shower until all stitches are out and scabs are often healed. So yeah, until those two things are done, <laughs> I cannot shower comfortably. Um, obviously I have to shower to have a cleanse, um, but I just shower heads over here and, you know, I let it roll down the front of, bleh, roll over my shoulders. I am so distracted, my goodness. I let it roll over my shoulders and that's how the water can touch my scars and my nipple grafts. The 9th of July, I was eight weeks post-op, which meant that, by my standards, I think, yeah, it's either my standards or Garamoni's standards, regardless, eight weeks post-op, um, I can start lifting things heavier than five pounds. Which is really cool, because on the 10th, I got the help with groceries for the first time since... Oh my gosh, it was so awesome! <laughs> Finally being able to help mom... I, we always go through self-checkout, so... Normally, she just takes from the basket and scans and puts it on the thing, and, you know. Um, I asked, I'm like, hey, we have a lot, you have two orders, can I just put stuff on the belt? Yeah, sure, go for it if you think you can! And I put everything on the belt. It was awesome. And then I put everything of our order. She had a Girl Scout order and our order. She put Girl Scout order in the basket. I put all of our order in the basket, which was awesome. Oh my gosh. I was so happy. <laughs> and then um, we took the Girl Scout order to the Scout house, and I helped take stuff in, and it was great. I, I missed it. <laughs> It's so silly, but it was awesome, so, you know. Um, and then later that night, um, I took Holly to the fair, and we met friends, and one of our friends, um, I went with them on a ride, which was awesome. Um, it was at one, oh, I can never remember the names, um, it's the one that goes in the circle, and it's just on the ground, and it goes on the circle really fast, and it stops, and it goes backwards really fast. Arctic Blast, yes. It has those two big bumps. Have I been lifting? Sometimes I accidentally lift my elbow just a little too high. Anyway, um, there's those two bumps on the ride. <laughs> I was concerned about that, but it was totally okay. I was perfectly fine. It was so much fun. I didn't know how much I needed that from 
helping with groceries in the morning to going on that ride. It was awesome. It's, uh, it's great. It's just a good night. It was a good day. It was, it was good. <laughs> um, let's see. And then the next day, the 11th, um, the last stitch fell off. So I am stitch free. I do not have any more stitches. They are all completely dissolved. They all fell off. They are gone. No more stitches. I'm so happy. Oh my god. I, okay, I thought it was going to fall off on the 5th of July. So, I have literally been, like, every three or four days, two or three days, I've been taking the tweezers and just very, very gently. I'm like, okay, no, you're not ready. You know? But I think, like, the past week before it fell off on the 11th, the past week, I was literally just going, because I think, where's my nipple? There it is. Because <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> it was right here. And I was literally just taking it and just wiggling, like a tooth, just wiggling it. And that, that got it out. Um, we had gone to um, Goodwill the day before, and I got a new button up, and I put my, put this arm through, and I grabbed it, grabbed the collar, and I swung it around, and when I swung it around, I guess the sleeve or this side of it just caught it and bumped it off, because when I grabbed it, I looked down and I went, oh! no more stitch. Cool. Hey mom. <laughs> it was awesome. I was, I was so happy. Um, and then before that, before it fell off, I should have said this first, I put on a real t-shirt for the very first time. It was an extra large, don't get excited. Um, <laughs> so I'm still not in t-shirts yet, but you know, I, at least I know it's possible for extra larges. Um, it's very easy to put on a shirt without raising your arms above your head. I challenge you to try it. Um, it's fun. <laughs> Just don't lift your elbows any higher than this. Do it. I, I challenge you. Uh, let's see, the 12th. Um, oh, yes. So, the 11th um, was the first night without... Because, um, okay, so... <laughs> my goodness, I'm all over the place. After I was cleared to not put anything on my nipples anymore, um, we started putting, um, you know, those really big, like, big band-aids, um, on them. Mom just cut off the sticky stuff and it was just the gauze. Gauze. It's not real gauze. Um, so we just stuck that on with some tape and that's what I had been putting on them at night. Um, daytime they could air out, nighttime I felt secure with the stitches. The deal was, once all the stitches were gone, I would not wear it anymore. I wouldn't do the mandate anymore. So, um, the, what did I just say? <laughs> the 11th was the last night with those bandages, just because I wanted it to make sure it was closed up, make sure it was good, you know, the place that it was, you get me. Um, so that was the last night with that. The 12th was the first night without any sort of bandages on my chest at all. And it went so well. I was so happy. Um, I didn't want to post anything anywhere because I didn't want to hype myself up because I knew if I did, and I did hype myself up, it would become a big deal. And then anxiety would go, okay, this is kind of a big deal. Uh, what's gonna happen? Is this bad? You know, what's gonna happen? Nothing happened. I didn't get anxious at all. I, I fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> and I woke up the next morning and I went, oh, cool. Nothing happened. Nothing's wrong. I survived. It was great. <laughs> so, yeah, I am completely bandage free as of the 12th, which is awesome. Um, and then yesterday, the 13th, uh, Mom and I went walking around the falls, which, if you've been to the Casper Mountain Falls, um, it's, it gets kind of, it's not steep, but walking from, walking on that trail, um, from the initial bridge, um, the parking area bridge, all the way up to the falls, it gets kind of steep, 
kind of. It was kind of an accomplishment for me. I was I was happy. I got to go for a walk. I was happy. So we did that, and then we drove around on the mountain. The bumps did not hurt at all, unless okay, until we were stuck behind this one person who was going literally five miles an hour for like ever. <laughs> we were driving from oh, I don't remember where we were at. It was the turn to go to Bear Trap, I think. Um, so after we left Bear Trap, um, going to Muddy, I think. I only know one area of the mountain, and that's Camp Sac. So I, I get confused. <laughs> um, but anyway, after we, um, yeah, after we were done following them, and they turned and they were done, and we got to explore on our own, um, everything was fine, the bumps did not hurt. Um, Unless it was super, super jarring, no pain at all. I was beyond happy. It was amazing. Um, and then we came home and I washed the car and it was great. Um, <laughs> it was a fun day. I've had really fun days recently, um, which is nice. So, overall, this past month, um, I want to stretch my arms up really, really bad. Um, and I want to sleep on my front. Bumps in the road do not bother me at all anymore, which is amazing, unless it's super jarring. My hand is shaking a lot, okay. Um, my scabs are almost completely gone, I will show you. Um, and I'm still super happy with my results. Um, oh, and I'm never in any pain, except for the zaps, which happen a lot more than you'd think. Like, a lot more. Um, like, earlier, um, just a second ago, when I go like this, that's a zap. I don't just occasionally, oh yes, hold my nipple, I don't just do that just for fun. It's because there's a zap and I feel like I have to do that. So, yeah, like I said, um, after a month and a half passes, it's just life. It's just, go do life. Um, yeah, I'm super duper happy. Um, I have weekly comparison pictures that I will do at the end of the video, just like I did at the one month post up. Um, video. For now, I will show you what is going on right now. Do -do -do -do. I gelled my hair, so be careful of my hair. Who cares about my chest? Much my hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go up a little bit. This is my chest right now. Oh, I moved the camera. I'm on my tippy toes right now, so I'm not balancing very well. <laughs> Um, it, it looks really good. You can see, I hope you can see, um, how the scabs are almost completely gone. Like, there's a couple over here, there's a couple right here, they're almost completely gone. I, I'm healing. <laughs> um, I didn't biocornium this morning, because after I biocornium, it makes them look lighter than they are. So I wanted to do this, and then biocornium because I wanted you to see how they look without my accordion. So, yeah, they're still a little pinkish, reddish, but as I've expressed before, I am okay with my scars being pinkish. Like, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> um, I would like to, them to fade a little bit, but hence why I'm not going out in the sun right now. <laughs> but, oh, speaking of... Um, I did buy some tape so that, uh, I can, if I so desire, go out in the sun. But I don't really know what to do about my nipple grafts, because I don't want to touch them yet. <laughs> like, it's, it's scary. I don't want to... It's not really the fear of, ah, they're gonna fall off if I... Mm. No, it's just... Scary. <laughs> It's still like touching a wound to me, you know, like touching a really big scab, which is true, there are some scabs, but like, I don't know how to explain it, it's just, I'm not wholly comfortable with them yet, which is fair, but, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna try the tape at some point in time, and maybe the next time I do an update, I'll update. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do just top updates um, from now on. I mean, maybe I'll do a six-month one. I'll definitely do a one-year one, definitely. 
Um, but I think everything else I'm just going to put into my uh, T videos because at this point, I'm just living life. I'm good. <laughs> okay, so another thing. Um, I need to get more comfortable with having my arms at my side because most of the time you'll notice I'm just standing here and do you see how my arms just, they're just kind of like out, you know? Like that's kind of exaggerating, but they're out. They're not like, you know, this is normal. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. This is normal, but this is just how they are. And that's weird, like my elbows. Like, just relax, chill, arms. It's weird. I need to get better at that. I don't know. I need to relearn how to do things. <laughs> I need to get comfortable with my arm touching my scar. <laughs> All right. So yeah, this is my chest. Two months post op. Yay. <laughs>